It's important to remember that this month is dedicated to suicide prevention. It's a time to bring awareness to mental health and offer support to those in need. Now, while we all know to call 911 in an emergency, what about those who are experiencing a mental health crisis? This September, as we emphasize the importance of mental health, it's crucial to highlight a new resource that's available in Ohio. The 988 Suicide and Crisis Lifeline is here to help. And joining us to talk about this important service is Leanne Cornyn, Director of the Ohio Department of Mental Health and Addiction Services. And Director Cornyn, why is it so important to recognize Suicide Prevention Month? Well, every day in Ohio, we lose five individuals to suicide. And suicide is now the second leading cause of death for our adolescents. So one, we have to build awareness that it's okay to not be okay. And there are resources out there if you need help. Uh, but we also need to commemorate and celebrate the lives of those Ohioans that we've lost. And that's why we wanna raise awareness for 988 as a resource for all Ohioans. Well, Ohio just recognized two years since the launch of 988. How's it been going? We think it's going great. In the two years since we launched 988 in July of 2022, we've had nearly 340,000 calls, texts, and chats. We're averaging about 14,000 different contacts every single month. And in July of last of this year, we had 21,000 different contacts at our 19 call centers across the state. So we know that there is an immense amount of need, a lot of interest in 988, and that is even with just about one third of Ohioans knowing that 988 exists. So we know that the demand and that the need for these services is even greater. Well, we last spoke to you in May when the statewide awareness campaign was launched. Can you talk to us about the goal of that campaign and how that's going? We know that about 36% of Ohioans are aware of 988. We think that's great. It's about double the national average, but of course we always want that number to be higher because we know that more Ohioans need access to this valuable resource. So we launched uh, an awareness campaign in May with the goal of increasing that awareness to 50% of Ohioans. And we think that we're having a pretty significant impact. As I mentioned, in July of this year, we had 21,000 different contacts to our 19 call centers. The year before, it was only about 13,000. So we have seen about a 50% increase in our call, text, and chat volume coming into our call centers. So we think we're having a pretty big impact. Well, for those who might be unfamiliar, what is 988? 988 is a three digit, easy to remember call line for anyone who's experiencing an emotional or a substance use crisis. That crisis is defined by the person who calls. It's completely free, it's completely confidential. When you call that number, it's available 24 seven. You can call, text, or chat, uh, and you'll reach an incredibly well-trained, compassionate, kind person uh, on the other side of that call who's ready to just talk to you about what's going on in your life and help connect you ultimately to additional resources right in your own community. And how is 988 structured and if, how have Ohioans been using it since it launched in July of 2022? So Ohio is kind of unique. We have more call centers than any other state in the nation. We know when Ohioans pick up that phone and dial 988, they wanna reach somebody in their own community who understands the resources that are available to them. So that's why we have 19 call centers all across the state. We employ all about 400 incredibly well-trained staff from those individuals answering phones to clinicians who are there to provide support when needed. Uh, when someone calls 988, they're going to be connected to a real live person in about 25 seconds, which is faster than the national average. And again, unlike 911, the goal isn't to dispatch somebody to your home. It's actually the opposite. We don't want to have to call emergency services if we don't have to. Uh, we really want to talk to that person about what's going on in their life, help them understand what resources are available in their community, connect them to those resources and de-escalate the situation so that they can leave that call feeling much better. When should someone call or text 988 and what can they expect when they do? You're going to pick up the phone, you're gonna dial 988, in less than 30 seconds, you'll be connected to a real life person. 
uh, that person 99% of the time is located right here in the state of Ohio. These are Ohioans who understand what resources are available in your community. That person's going to be incredibly well trained to help deal with crises of all shapes and sizes. No crisis is too big, too small for our call center staff to help you handle. They're going to talk to you about your challenges and they'll stay on the line with you for as long as you need. Uh, so really, it is directed based on the needs of our callers. Uh, and at the end of that phone call, they'll help connect you to follow up resources, whether that's a behavioral health appointment in your community. Maybe it's a mobile response. Uh, whatever that caller needs, that, that person behind the headset is going to help try to ensure that they get accesses to resources in their community. What type of training do the call specialists receive? Well, it's incredibly robust. There is a nationally required training that every single one of our call center staff have to go through. And in addition to that, we also provide um, follow-up resources to address uh, you know, stigma or other challenges that, that our call center staff might experience uh, when they're addressing calls. Uh, and then individual local call centers can design their own training resources for their staff based on calls that they have incoming. Uh, so really, you're tr we're trying to get the national standard, but then also that local flavor uh, that we know exists in every single community across the state. How is 988 different than 911? And will the police also be called? Like I mentioned earlier, our goal is not, unlike 911, to send somebody to uh, the caller's home. And in fact, we don't really even know where our callers are calling from. We're not going to, generally speaking, ask for personal information. We, unlike 911, don't have access to uh, your address. What we really want to do is focus on meeting the needs of that individual in the moment with where they're at helping de-escalate the situation, helping connect them to local resources that they may need. Only in instances where there is a life-threatening emergency will we try to collect personal information from that individual so that we can connect them to 911. Anything else you'd like viewers to know about 988 in Ohio? Well, we want all Ohioans to know that it's okay to not be okay, and there is help out there for those that need it. We know 988 is saving lives, and we want all Ohioans to know, regardless of what they're going through, 988 is free, it's confidential, it's 24-7, and you can call, text, or chat whenever you need it. The 988 Suicide Crisis Lifeline of Ohio. Call, text, or chat for free, confidential mental health support anytime.